Hey YouTube, Danny here again with another action figure review on the World of Nintendo Chic figure. Uh, I was pretty excited when I saw her on the shelf because uh, I have been having, I don't know about with the rest of you guys, but at the Toys R Us around me, every time they get a character that basically isn't a Mario based character in their waves, they become super, super hard to pick up. I mean, we'll get wave after waves where it's just tons of Mario's on the shelf, or a Diddy Kong, or a Luigi, but finding the Samus, or the Fox, or uh, Link figures, they're like so hard to find, they're like never there, so the fact that she was up on the shelf and everything, just sitting there, I like jumped at the opportunity to grab them, because I know the restocks aren't as great in my, at least my area, but uh, yeah, so pretty excited about it, uh, looking pretty good in the packaging so far. And, again, the harp's over here, and they're not doing the uh, the mystery packaging anymore, which, eh, kind of a bummer, but, you know, that is what it is. Uh, nice picture of Link up here, and we'll go to the back. And they're in the wave, again, with the Mario, Bowser, Waluigi, Cat Luigi, and, um, it's, again, with the, uh, the harp kind of talking about it. Like, they're actually showing you on the back now. I didn't point this out in the Bowser review. That, uh, the actual fig, like, the little mini thing that comes with it, so it definitely they're not playing the mystery angle anymore, which, again, you know, whatever. Everyone kind of knows what it is by the time it gets here anyway, but, no, it's still kind of cool to open it, so, that kind of sucks. But, uh, in the back, head movement, arms, and legs. So, uh, let's crack it open and check them out. Alright, so here we go into the packaging, and, uh, pretty much the same articulation that the, uh, the Link figure had. And uh, that's not a complaint at all. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, the paint overall looking pretty good. And uh, not a bad figure. I like it. Uh, arms go up decently high. And the whole swivel around. And they're up and down at the elbow. Which, again, is pretty cool. And the hands are at a swivel. And they're at an up and down, too. Which is going to be good for, you know, holding the harp. And, uh, it actually fits pretty well, so... I really, yeah, as you saw, I didn't even really try to get that in there, so... There's a tightness to the hand, which is pretty good, so it holds the harp pretty damn well, right up the bat. Um, this bib material right here is actually made of, like, a softer plastic, which... Uh, looks good for the waviness. Uh, the head has good turning movement. And the paint on the, uh, the eye here came out pretty, uh, good, actually. Uh, I don't know, I guess Jack Specific is pretty good at uh, painting. Pretty, uh, painting bibs pretty good, just like uh, Bowser Jr., as I said, uh, looked pretty good in the last review. Uh, the knee, the leg, uh, pretty good. Kicks pretty high. Pretty decent amount of back movement. And the knee comes in and out. Foot twists back and forth. And up and down. Yeah. So, the foot... And it rotates all the way around, so so it's looking pretty good. And you know you can get those cool stepping positions and stuff like that. And you know just like that, it's not even that the it's holding up pretty well. Like uh, it's well balanced, not falling over or anything. So you know that's always good that you can kind of just drop it at any wayward position, and then it just holds well. And the back of the figure, not too bad. And the hair actually looks pretty nice throughout the. Head and everything, decently sculpted, and the eye looks pretty good too. So, overall, pretty good paint job, pretty good articulation. And uh, let me just get Link as a comparison next to Link. And I just realized that kind of a decent bit taller, which I don't know if that's accurate, but it kind of seems off. So, I kind of feel like it's a little weird that Link's so much like, decently shorter. Uh, I don't know. I wish Link was a little taller, because he's kind of in the same height as Mario, which kind of drives me crazy, but whatever. But again, um, not a bad figure at all. Uh, definitely one that you're going to want to get if you're going to want to get your Smash Brothers figures, you know, set up all together. So, great positive review, and again, like I said, with this whole harp thing right here, it's looking pretty good. Easy in the hands and everything, so definite pickup, and I'm going to say this is probably the best figure that's going to come out in this wave, even though that Bowser Jr. was still pretty awesome. So, definite pickup. Uh, hope you have a good day. See you.